Begonia Simperflorens, commonly known as wax begonia, belongs to the family of Begonia CAE. This plant can be seen in the island of Boracay, Malay Aklan, and it is locally known as Pinggan Pinggan. It is believed that Begonia leaf has a phytochemicals that can treat diarrhea and eczema. With the growing popularity of herbal medicine, people must be responsible in using herbal plants since it becomes a traditional way in treating ailments. People must always assure their safety when treating ailments by not just depending on their personal experiences but also be more sure for what will be the result. In this study, the researchers would like to investigate and determine the potential presence of different phytochemicals within the leaf of begonia, especially in begonia simperflorens. Moreover, to screen and validate if these phytochemicals were known to have a curative effects for diarrhea and eczema. Statement of the problem This study would like to determine the phytochemicals present in begonia simperflorens. Specifically, this seeks to answer the following questions. What are the phytochemicals present in the leaf of Begonia Semperflorens? And what are the known properties of this phytochemical present in the Begonia Semperflorens plant? Collection of Sample The leaves of Begonia Semperflorens were acquired at Sitio Bulabog, Zone 6, Barangay Balabog, Malay Aklan at year 2021. Begonia Semperflorens leaves were obtained by cutting it with scissors and then gathered. Washing and oven drying method. After the collection, the wax begonia leaves are washed uh, using running water three times. Afterwards, the fresh leaves sample were oven dried at a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius for 7 to 8 minutes until rigid, having a texture that readily breaks into little pieces. The sample will be pulverized and subjected to solvent extraction. Extract preparation. Leaf material of wax begonia leaf was weighed 300 grams. The leaves were pounded to form a pulverized sample. A 30 grams of pulverized sample was soaked in a 300 ml of 70% ethanol solution in early mirror flask and covered the top for 12 hours at room temperature. Afterwards, extract was filtered using filter paper and was divided in three portions. Preparation of chemicals. The chemicals used by the researchers are few drops of 1% NH3 solution, few drops of neutralized ferric chloride solution, 5 ml of Benedict solution, 1% of gelatin solution, and 10% of sodium chloride solution. In data collection, the three applications of Vox begonia or begonia simple florence Extra clips were tested and recorded the data with the use of observation sheet. Afterwards, phytochemical screening and pH test results were tabulated through tabular presentation. Three replications of plant leaves extract will be prepared for each test to ensure the validity of presence of the phytochemicals within the plant leaf. For the test for flavonoids, the test performed is alkaline reagent test. First, Prepare a 1% 1 per, 1 ammonia solution by adding 1 ml of pure ammonia to 10 ml distilled water in a beaker, then stir it. Next, add 0 0.5 ml of extract in each test tube. Afterwards, few drops of 1% ammonia solution were added to 0 0.5 ml extract. An intense yellow coloration indicates the presence of flavonoids.
For the test for phenols, ferric chloride test is performed. First, we need to prepare a neutralized ferric chloride solution. Prepare a diluted solution of sodium hydroxide by soaking it to a little amount of water, then stir it until it dissolves. Add the 10 ml pure ferric chloride in a beaker. Add the diluted solution of sodium hydroxide to 10 ml ferric chloride solution slowly and stir it. Afterwards, filter it to remove the precipitate. The clear filtrate thus obtained is used for the test. Next, add 2 ml of extract in each test tube. Add the neutralized ferric chloride in each test tube dropwise. Formation of dark green solution indicates the presence of phenols. For the test for tannins, two different tests were conducted to verify the results. The gelatin test and the ferric chloride test. For the gelatin test, we'll be preparing a 1% gelatin solution and 10% sodium chloride solution. Add the 300 ml distilled water to 3 grams of gelatin powder in a beaker and stir it. Afterwards, put the mixture in an Erlenmeyer flask and apply heat. While waiting for the 1% gelatin solution to boil, we'll be preparing a 10% sodium chloride solution. Add a 100 ml distilled water in a beaker, then add 10 grams of sodium chloride in it and stir it until it dissolves. Afterwards, add a little freshly prepared 10% sodium chloride solution to the 1% gelatin solution. Then, transfer a 100 ml amount of mixture in a beaker. Then, start the gelatin test. Add 2 ml extract as tube. Then add the gelatin solution dropwise. A white buff precipitate indicates the presence of tannins.
Next, eric chlorides for tannins. First, prepare 5% ferric chloride solution. Add 100 ml distilled water in a beaker and then add 2.5 pure ferric chloride solution in it then stir it. Next, add 2 ml of extract in each test tube. Then add the 5% pericloride solution in each test tube dropwise. Formation of greenish black or dark blue indicates the presence of tannins. For the test for carbohydrates, Benedict's test is performed. First, prepare a Benedict's reagent. Add 3 grams of sodium citrate, sodium carbonate, and 15 ml distilled water in a beaker. Heat and stir until the solutes are dissolved. Add 5 ml distilled water to 0.5 grams of copper sulfate in a beaker and stir it until it dissolves. After that, Mix the two solutions together and stir it. Then the Benedict's test is ready. Add 0.5 ml extract in each test tube. Next add the 5 ml of Benedict's reagent in each test tube. And boil it for 5 minutes and water bath method. The bluish green color of the solution indicates the presence of carbohydrates. For the test for saponins, fraud test is performed. Add 2 ml extract of wax begonia in each test tube. Then add 2 ml of distilled water in each test tube. Stop each test tube with cork and shake it for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, formation of foam froth indicates the presence of saponins. For the pH test, 3 pieces of red and 3 pieces of blue litmus paper were used in this test. 5 ml of wax begonia extract was added into each petri dish. The tip of each red and blue litmus paper was put in it. Blue turned to red. It is acidic. And red remains red. It is acidic. We also used universal litmus paper for the pH test. The yellow-orange coloration is observed to be acidic. Results. This study shows the results of pH test and phytochemicals present in wax begonia or begonia semper. Florence leaf extract by using tables and figures. This research study will utilize tabular representations of the phytochemical screening results, a descriptive narrative method of research. For the phytochemical analysis of wax begonia leaf extract, table 1, flavonoids, 
Nemod Test, Alkaline Reagent Test, Theoretical Result, and Tensialo Coloration upon Addition of NH3 Solution or Ammonia Solution. Actual Result, Appearance of Intense Yellow Coloration was observed. Indication, High Concentration, Three Positives, Phenols, Test, Spheric Chloride Test, Theoretical Result, Dark green coloration due to the addition of ferric chloride solution. Actual result, formation of dark green solution. Indication, high concentration, three positives. For tannins, gelatin test is performed. Theoretical result, formation of white buff precipitate. Actual result, presence of white buff colored precipitate. Indication, High concentration, three positives. Carbohydrates, any DIX test is performed. Appearance of bluish green solution after the addition of Benedict solution. Indication, three positives for high concentration. For saponins, froth test is performed. Formation of foam froth, theoretical result. Actual result. Formation of foamy bubbles after shaking vigorously. Indication, three positives, high concentration. In table 1, phytochemical screening of wax begonia or begonia semper florens plant leaves extract revealed the presence of flavonoids, phenols, tannins, carbohydrates, and saponins. Table 2 for pH test. Three replicates were prepared for each blue and red litmus paper. Phytochemical constituent, leaf, A subgroup 1, blue turns to red, so it is acid. Subscript 2, turned to red, so acid. A subscript 3, acid. If red remains red, B subscript 1, acid. B subscript 2, acid. E subscript 3 acid which red remains red. Table 2 the wax begonia begonia semper florence plant leaf extract in pH test revealed that it is acidic. Table 3 phytochemical testing results of 3 replicates phytochemical test flavonoids as performed alkaline reagent test A, B, and C revealed High concentration, phenols, as performed was ferric chloride test, A, B, and C also revealed with high concentration, tannins, gelatin test, A, B, and C revealed high concentration, carbohydrates, as performed was Benedict's test, A, B, and C revealed with high concentration, saponins, as performed was fraud test, a, B, and C revealed with high concentration. In Table 3, the phytochemical screening of three replications of wax begonia, begonia semper florence plant leaves extract revealed the presence of flavonoids, phenols, tannins, carbohydrates, and saponins. Table 4, pH test, red and blue litmus paper, results of three replications, which blue and red litmus paper for the Leaf extract, A subscript 1, revealed blue turns to red, A subscript 2, blue turns to red, A subscript 3, blue turns to red, and for the red litmus paper, B subscript 1, red remains red, B subscript 2, red remains red, and B subscript 3, red remains red. In table 4, the 3 replications of Vox begonia or begonia semper florence plant leaves extract in pH test for red and blue litmus paper revealed that it is acidic. Table 5, pH test of universal litmus paper. The universal litmus paper turned to yellow orange, which indicates number 4 for the results. A subgroup 1 for 4 and A subgroup 2 for 4 and A subgroup 3 for 4. Table 5, the three replications of wax begonia 
or begonia semperflorens, plant leaves extract, and pH test for universal litmus paper revealed that it is acidic. Discussions Properties of phytochemicals present in wax begonia leaf. The result of qualitative analysis showed the total presence of potential phytochemicals or phytonutrients within the wax begonia or begonia semperflorens leaf. It carried out for the leaf extract that it has the presence of flavonoids, phenols, tannins, carbohydrates, and saponins. The plant leaf extract also revealed in pH the test that it is acidic. Flavonoids are compounds that are widely distributed throughout the vegetable kingdom, including in edible plants. Moreover, flavonoids ameliorate acute and chronic diarrhea by inhibition of intestinal motility. Furthermore, flavonoid has a property called quercetin that can help to alleviate eczema, sinusitis, asthma, and hay fever. In addition, administration of flavonoids into atopic dermatitis prone showed a preventive and ameliorative effect by Kawai M. et al. 2007. The leaf extract has the presence of phenols. They can alleviate symptoms and inhibit the development of various skin disorders. Phenolic compounds are a promising tool in eliminating the causes and effects of skin aging, skin diseases, skin damage, including eczema, wounds, and burns. Zylo M. et al. year 2016. Additionally, phenols may also play a role in controlling non-inflammatory diarrheal states. A variety of other compounds used as antidiarrheals in traditional medicine have been screened for their active ingredient and phenols have been identified as the bioactive components by Dryden G. et al. year 2006. Medicine, tannins have been used for the treatment of inflamed superficial skin diseases and as a desiccant in the treatment of weeping skin inflammations such as shingles and acute eczema. Moreover, according to Ren A. and Zhang W. that at all, year 2012, clinical studies have demonstrated the efficacy of tannins in treatment of acute diarrhea. In addition, recent study indicated that tannic acid protects against the adverse intestinal permeability changes during infection by improving the mucosal resistance. Saponin is a bitter and soapy substance. According to Kabir and Abu Bakar et al., as by the report on year 2015, saponins possess antidiarrheal properties and validates its use in traditional medicine for the treatment of diarrhea. Furthermore, the structural variations can contribute to numerous biological properties ranging from antiviral, antifungal, adjuvant, as well as anti-tumor activities, all of which have been reported for various saponins. Among its benefits, saponin can also cure eczema by Jan 2013. Carbohydrates have the properties of antimicrobial activities wherein it has curative effects on eczema. Additionally, manufacturers claim that carbohydrates have properties that act as a demulcent and absorbent in the treatment of diarrhea. Conclusion, in general, the researcher conclude that the wax begonia plant leaves have some positive phytochemicals. The presence of flavonoids, phenols, saponins, tannins, and carbohydrates within the wax begonia leaves, which it can possibly treat some various skin diseases, and has anti-diarrheal activity, which it did match the traditional belief as a herbal medicine for curing a diarrhea and eczema. In recommendation based on the findings and conclusion presented in the study, the following recommendations are suggested. Number one, people must assure on what are the few results of giving herbal medicine to avoid conflict in health conditions. Number two, people must understand that they must be open-minded by broadening their knowledge about the unknown plants that can treat critical diseases for humans. Number three, more scientific research studies should be conducted to validate or verify the belief of wax begonia or wax or begonia semper florens plant. Four, future researchers should conduct a cytotoxicity test of wax begonia or begonia semper florens 
plan to to validate and verify if it can be taken internally. Five, future researchers should verify the traditional medicine by phytochemical research approach which is considered effectively in discovering bioactive profile of plant therapeutic importance. And number six, future researchers should conduct quantitative phytochemical analysis of wax begonia or begonia central forest to determine how much potential phytochemicals are present within the plant. As we end, we would like to give thanks first for our school principal too. Mr. Eliseo B. Casidcid for allowing us to use the school laboratory for our experiment in spite of this pandemic. Secondly, Mr. Luther G. Capispisan for being always there to guide and teach us in doing our capstone research. Thirdly, to our panelists for giving us some advices and correcting our mistakes in doing our research. And lastly, to the people who helped us in finding and bringing us some begonia leaves. Thank you so much.